your boy whispering from here and back with another video and I'm actually going to be probably not talking too terribly loud just because I am at house at home at house at home um and I've had some videos lined up um is this the first time it's gonna be the first video where I have the short hair that's posted up on here I've taken a couple of videos but I don't get posted this might not this might be the first video where I got the short hair. So yeah, short hair. Uh trying to do a little bit of, you know, a little fade, but I gotta get my hair good custom after a week. So um another big difference is we got I hope I don't unplug it because I got connected to a dongle. A dongle. Um Blue Yeti. Beautiful little bastard. I like it. I only use it for like an hour, but I'm gonna make it a little bit closer to so you can hear all the accentuations that and falls and all that. All right. So Shingeki no Kyojin. We've had this is uh day December thirty seventh. December thirty seventh. December seventh. And what major events have occurred? We've had episode one come out and we have a lot of people say with the new opening to uh season four. That there's even spoilers in that the new opening and outro. There's spoilers in that for even all these manga readers. From what I understand about this uh, chapter, there's definitely um, a couple of things pertaining to a certain young boy named after a certain animal that flies, and that flying boy very relevant apparently to the outro, even the intro itself. I'm not sure. I, I just didn't think it was that relevant that this kid looks at a bird back when seasoned up uh, when this arc started in the manga, but do hickory with this particular chapter. And please don't downvote me just because I compared him to B and B. I didn't mean to say he's as bad a writer as them. I just meant he pulls some some ass pulls out like them. But he's a good writer. He's a great writer. He's you know Attack on Titan. I think Attack on Titan going to be revered as one of the best seasons of anime ever because of what he wrote and because what he writes or draws after it's a lot better animated I think that when we get to chapter 119 to 124 if they don't do CGI it will probably look like one of the most convoluted yet amazing rides that we've ever seen in anime um, so let's go into it chapter 135 is that a mirror? I believe it's a mirror, is not? Battle of Heaven and Earth. Is that a mirror? Is a mirror riding on Aaron? That's uh that's big. Wait, is that Zeke? Ooh. My theory about this being maybe just a copy, uh using Zeke's like Aaron using Zeke's body like synthesize a Titan. That's correct. <laughs> Go watch my old one if you want to see that. So this is pretty big already. We have a mirror like in physical form. Uh, a Titan, Beast Titan has been defeated, it appears. And it's not a real person. Zeke did not get his revenge quite yet. My other prediction is that Zeke was going to defect from Aaron. And we're going to get a Levi moment. I'm still on for that. Shout out to Erwin, Jotaro Jr. Is that a cart? Wait, what is it? I have to throw away my sweet hopes. I should, Aaron. What is the? What's that behind him? Is he being attacked? Is that the cart Titan? And Mir said, nah. <laughs> nah, dog, you good. <laughs> no sacrifice. It looks like another Titan we synthesize or something. And it looks like the car tightened a little bit. Oh, buddy, got that thing on him. <laughs> he put his tongue in his mouth? <laughs> what the f Oh, so he can't bite himself and transform. Okay, I get it. Oh, it's just normal Titans. Okay. The Levi does not look concerned more than one panel in a row. So, so I'm thinking that 
she's touching him. So maybe in the same sense that um that when Zeke touches him and gives him like the power of the founder Titan, maybe Amir has to touch him too. That might just be me reaching, but everything matters in ECI on this panels. Hey, Darky Darky wake up. <laughs> Darky wake up. Darky wake up. Darky wake up. Dude, Andy might go Super Saiyan 3 when she sees her dad. Get ready to resolve the fight. She's gonna like become like the Fountain Titan herself. Got Suicide B. It's like to say that this OG smash technique and Suicide B off the stage. They're throwing all the cannons out there. Listen, they got nothing else. If this doesn't work, they're done. So he synthesized the Jaw Titan. Not the Jaw Titan. The, um, yeah, the Jaw Titan. Yeah, the one from uh, Galliard, and then the other one. I don't, I don't remember his name, but I know of him. That's the uh, is that the female Titan. I'm not sure. That one can like crystallize it, so like, it can form weapons and stuff. I, I don't remember who that was that Aaron ate, but I think he ate three Titans when he was in um when he was in Marley. I don't remember which ones. I think it was the Warhammer Titan. Nope. The Warhammer Titan. That's who it is. The, it's literally the Warhammer Titan. He had the Warhammer Titan, the Cart Titan, and um, I think somebody else. I feel like he's using like their intelligence as like actual like humans in some manner. They already ran out of Thunder Spirits. Goodness gracious. Taking away the Aaron's butt. Can we get 100% Levi? <laughs> like, come on, man. A handicapped Levi in this massive battle? Then nine titans of times pass. Oh, Jesus. I guess you can revive them inexhaustibly. Inexhaustibly. Oh, with the power of the founding titan. Make sure my audio sounds good. Army Christian Titans for the Sopras of Fight, something like that. Some person with Titan. Perish Nightmare. That's the Warhammer Titan. Not playing any games today, I see. They have what? Two Titans? And then they need Annie. He went straight for the Nape, didn't he? Oh, he went for the Nape. That's a, that's a jaw titan, I believe, right? Another jaw titan? I thought Aaron's gonna like let them have a chance, but he he evidently does not care about them whatsoever. <laughs> Peak went for it. I mean, you gotta give her that. It seemed like the most plausible scenario at that moment, Annihilation. So even though Aaron might want to give them a chance, Amir's probably gonna like cut that, huh? Why did they give... Is that... Is that Burt Oak? <laughs> he said this ice burnt hole. <sighs> That's big. Is Armin gonna try to reach out to Burnt Hope? Or can he reach out to Burnt Hope? Can he like can he trump Emir's control over Burnt Hope? I don't think he can from what I'm seeing right here. He just oh god, he ate um I think Rainer jumped out the last second. Who just fell? Was that like Rainer's um Rainer's parents? Oh god, I think Rainer jumped out though. It looked like from right here. So like someone got him one way or the other. Someone got him before he got eight. But that, that's his mom. That's Rainer's mom. I guess she knew he's I I never knew if she knew he was armored titan, but I think they went over that when uh they have the panel like the, when they get back to Marley after the Middle East. Uh, pillaging <laughs> and uh, they're like doing like the little slice of life part I think the parents do seem to know like their kids are up for promotion or whatever one by now they had 100% Levi my 3DM gear, gear has been getting this is this is bad they're already getting killed <laughs> it's been one chapter 
Gene and Ringer, they did have a pretty good relation to season one. I need to rewatch season one, honestly. Mikasa is just goaded, bro. <laughs> they gotta let Connie go, bro. <laughs> they did what they could for that man. No, not Levi's leg. No. Did he get Levi's leg? Jesus Christ. He got Levi's leg. Come on, man. Or did he? He didn't get it. Okay. Mikasa saved him. He almost got the other leg. Isn't Levi like one good arm on him too? I think like he has two. I thought he like one good arm. I may be wrong. I thought he did. So Levi has two good arms and two good legs. Or at least what well, appeared to be a good leg at one point in time. This is bad. Can, can Aaron calm down? Stop. Give him a chance. I mean, goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> Falco. Okay, here we go. Falco to save the day. Is Falco no Mikasa's name? I know it's Mikasa, but it's Mikasa's first name. Yeah. Oh, it's Annie. Oh, I was about to say, who the hell is that? The flaws had no choice but to come. Annie. Okay, so Annie came to save the day. I'm glad I came here so she can rescue me. Okay. I think they realized very quickly that Aaron's not playing any games. I don't know if they knew that before, but uh, Annie's trying to, I mean, Aaron is trying to win. So with this, they now have, they have the flying slash beast titan, a new beast titan, I guess. Um, Because he has some of Aaron's, uh, Zeke's blood in him. Um, so they have this titan. They have um, Annie. So that's female titan. They have two titans. They have beat up Rainer. That's three. Um, I guess three and a half because currently Bert Holt and Armin are like smooching over there. So three and a half Titans against the Warhammer Titan, the modern Beast Titan, the maybe Green Card. Like they have half themselves because I don't know if I don't know if Bert can control the Colossal Titan. He might be able to. I'm guessing that's maybe a possibility. Um, so three and a half Titans. Then, you know, what, what else? Oh, they have the, also the cart. I think they still have, um, I think they got peak still. So they have four and a half Titans, um, to founding Titan, attack Titan, cart Titan. Well, they had a variation of cart Titan. Look like jaw Titan, Warhammer Titan, all the old nine Titans. And they have a mirror. So they have like about 27 Titans to four and a half Titans. Plus, he can literally synthesize all the, like, just various, like, just bot titans. Then they have these titans on the ground. <laughs> all right, so here, here, here's where we're at. There's not going to be a happy ending. That's not going to happen. That It's just, it's not going, it's not going to be a happy ending. Um, they're, feasibly speaking, there probably shouldn't be a win here to be had for them. He's going to have to go to attack up uh, to talk no jutsu. Talk no jutsu is what Armin is good at. It's maybe the only thing Armin is good at. Um, and it's probably the only weapon against the current enemy they have. Now, what they're presenting with me right now is that there are consciences that appear to be unconscious or controlled right now in the old Titans. Bert Holt is the first one we've seen, but you would assume that maybe Aaron's father is an option. Maybe Zeke is an option. So maybe they can rewrite the wills of those unconscious titans. Maybe. Um, that's where I'm at right now with this. Um, I don't think win is like necessarily what, what matters here. I mean, like, you want a good you want a good, well written ending. Is it gonna be nihilistic? Yes. There's no way that they should be able to win feasibly speaking. But you wanna write until they have a chance. You don't want to just be a, a you know shit stomp. Um the the comparison I made earlier was what I think most of us thought season eight was supposed to be for Attack on Titan, where nobody's pleased. Everybody loses. I think that's still where I'm at on this. I just don't know. I mean, we know that there's a reset, and that's what the baby, the story's baby kind of means is a reset. So if we're supposed to get that reset, they have to lose. It's not a reset if they don't. Like, the baby doesn't really have, to my, in my opinion, the baby doesn't have relevancy if we don't get that reset. So, 
And I mean, Amir, like Amir is not losing. Amir can control all of them she wanted to right now. So I don't know how, if Amir's will is to win and reset, I don't know how you get a pass that unless Armin, I talk no jutsus, Amir, which is what Aaron did the first, so you can't have like two talk, you can't like two talk no jutsus from two protagonists. That just doesn't really work. So, so I imagine we're going to get a situation in which Amir initially or eventually gets what she wants. Maybe they flip Aaron and it just doesn't matter. Maybe Amir still like, is like, oh, I thought you was a real one, but you're a mark too. So she just gets him out of there. It's possible. But I think I really like that chapter. Um, People was talking about, you know, it's kind of like an uh, ass pull and all that. I'm like, I don't really believe that. I don't believe it's an ass pull. I think they wrote that well. I mean, that was well written. I thought, you know, obviously he saved them, you know, I mean, he wrote it to where they'd get saved. I mean, I don't think that's bad writing. I just think that's what, I just think that's what had to happen. But that, I mean, they weren't just die like that, but I have 4% left, which is kind of, kind of unfortunate. Are you saying the Warhammer ability is what creates Titans? Just, can it do that? I thought it was just like his founding Titan ability. We saw that we were implied that with the Galliard comment, and then what we saw with Bert Holt. I I think I don't think that's a Warhammer Titan ability. I, I don't I think that would be broken. Um, I mean maybe a Warhammer Titan himself can't do that without like a a founding Titan connection or without Emir helping him, but. The way I understand it, Aaron is in conflict with Amir's will. Amir is trying her best to kill and stop the alliance. If she wanted, then she wouldn't have let him transform in the first place. But I think she can't do it because Aaron doesn't want to be powerless. That's where I'm at. So I think Aaron is giving them a shot because he wants them to be able to stop him. I think Amir would just, if she had her way, they would literally just be done. We'll have, with the past Titans being a play in this, I think based on what Grisha said to Zeke, I feel like Zeke will have some. They're not gonna just have Zeke just be written out like twenty months ago. I think Amir's def, Zeke's definitely gonna have a part into this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this over with because I'm uh I'm done, and I only have two percent. So hope you enjoy the new uh new quality. It's good. It's very good. I'm gonna get a new camera soon too, but I had to start with the audio quality. Uh, go peep the podcast, um, Biscuits from Heaven. I may do more stuff with Attack on Titan. Usually I just kind of put these on both on different, you know, sites. Like this will probably be on that site too. But I usually also do some just more lats, relax stuff. So I don't have to like show myself this ugly mug. Um, tell us this, a societal podcast, name the podcast title. Uh, like, share, rate, subscribe. Peace.